dedicated to you. Label it, David. No, that's not a good one. Okay. So when we were talking about angles of elevation and angles of depression, if you guys remember this, Layla, what we talked about is angles of depression, angles of elevation come from a horizontal line. So when we have a line that's horizontal, if we have an angle that is above the horizontal, it doesn't matter which direction it's facing, but we have to have an angle that's above, we call that an angle of elevation. If from the horizontal we have an angle that is going down, we call those angles angles of depression. All right? So all they're simply asking us to do is find the angle of elevation and depression from this figure. Um, Lauren, I do not believe that's what you asked me to do. So, I don't think so. So, let's go ahead and look at this figure and try to determine where our lines of horizontal are. Well, it's pretty obvious you guys can see that here is a line that's horizontal between this helicopter and it looks like a building or a landing pad over here. So there's two lines of horizontal. From this line of horizontal, you guys can see that there's an angle going downward, right? So that would be what we call our angle of depression. No, this is question number one off of your homework. OK, then you can write on a sheet of paper so you can use it later. Then you can say there's this horizontal. And from this horizontal, we have an angle that's going up, which we call our angle of elevation. All right. Now we can also name these by using our angles. So this angle would be FLS. This angle is angle ASL. Okay, And that's all you guys had to do for questions one through four. That's it.